everybody, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto. I'm heading off to the gym right now. Just dropped off my wife at at her school. You know what I'm saying? She already submitted her packet for a test, so we're just waiting for that test to come up. She takes it, she passes it, and then she completes her hours, and she's good to go and rejoin the workforce. You know what I'm saying? Helping out with the bills and whatnot. <laughs> And that's one investment that you gotta do, man. If you love your wife, you send her ass back to school. Alright. Now another thing, man. Um I'm about to do some bag and biceps today. Love my bro split, man. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, man. I love my bro split. Alright? I'm a bro. Bro. But anyways, man. Enough with the bro splits and stuff. I'm about to hit me some PRs today. Today's the day to hit another PR on my deadlift. You know what I'm saying? But another thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, Did you guys buy anything for Christmas? I'm not a big guy on Christmas I don't really like buying gifts I like to buy gifts But when I do buy gifts It has to be like very meaningful Like you gotta remember me kind of meaningful Because I don't like just to spend shit And then people say Oh thanks for the gift And they're not really thankful for what they got Because you know I feel like it's just a waste of money If they're not thankful for it So with that being said, I mean, what you guys have planned for your family or your friends, whoever, boyfriend, girlfriend. For me, I was thinking to take my wife, like, somewhere special as a gift, you know what I'm saying? Because I really don't, we haven't been on a really good day in a while. But shh, don't let her know that shit, though. She doesn't really watch my videos. She watches some of them, but not all of them. Not like this. So with that being said, I'm okay about it. But as long as nobody else tells her about it, it's all cool. So, yeah, man. Anyways, man. With that being said, I'll, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about what you guys going to do for Christmas or the kind of gifts that you guys are ready to give. Anyways, man, I'm about to hit these uh, these backs and buys and uh, hit these PRs, all right? I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Jason Yamamoto. Right now, I'm warming up my post-workout meal. I made beef and broccoli yesterday. So right now, I'm about to turn it on. And wait for this bitch to heat up, right? Still in the little walk that I have right here, as you can tell. Wife made this, but I cut the meat and everything. But anyways, anyways, I want to talk to you guys about deadlifts, right? Deadlifts. By the way, I PR for 245 on my deadlifts. And I did it by accident. I was trying to aim for 240 pounds. Last week I did 235 and I just wanted to increase it little by little. I messed up the math. I ended up doing 245. You guys check that out later in the video. But let me talk to you guys about um, deadlifts, man. Deadlifts. How much should you deadlift? That's a very serious question. A lot of people ask me that. You know, people who train and people who don't train, you know. How much should you deadlift? How much should you deadlift, for real? And that's a really good question because a lot of people who are into power uh, lifting, power lifting or strength training, their goal is to get as much as they can, man. The sky is the limit, you know. Everybody's goal is to try to be the world's strongest man, like a thousand pounds and such and such. But for the average man, for the average athlete, the guy who doesn't want to do too much and not too less, how much should you deadlift? You know what? I can't really answer that question. I really can't. What I can tell you is strive for the best that you can and you make the decision that you need to make in order to be a better deadlifter. Okay? Deadlift is not really necessarily the thing you need in your life, but you almost deadlift anything and everything in your life. You understand that when you pick up your luggage, you're deadlifting. You pick up a bag off the ground, you deadlift. It may not be like 200 pounds or 300 pounds every time, but you're deadlifting something. All right? Especially if you work at work, you know what I'm saying? You got the box on the ground. And what do you do? You get in a deadlift position. You pick it up in a neutral hand, right? In a hand grip. And you know, um, when it comes to deadlifting, right, the most important thing about deadlifting is the form, right? You see dudes out there, oh, when you get heavy weights, you don't worry about too much about form, you're trying to get it up. 
True, when you're trying to break new PRs, but at the same time, you should always know your limits and should always definitely work on form because form is very necessary when it comes to um, motor learning, right? Motor learning and motor development. You don't want to have a jacked up nervous system that recognizes bad form every time you perform it or you're just going to have a very bad posture, muscular imbalances, all kinds of things, right? You know, a very good range of where a person should be at when it comes to a deadlift is usually your t your body weight times 1.5, right? And you should be good on deadlifts. You know, you should be able to deadlift more than your body weight, and that's respectable. I, you know, if you can deadlift more than your body weight, that's respectable. You know, let me add some more water to this. You know. I respect anybody who's trying to better themselves when it comes to like fitness or trying to build some muscles or build some strength. But if you're not going to be a power lifter, a strength athlete, you just want to be a fit dude. If body weight times 1.5, it should be sufficient in my book. You know, you don't have to strive for, you know, for the stars. You don't have to aim for the stars. You can just try to be the best you can be all the time. All right. When it comes into mind, when it comes to what you want to do in the gym, you got to remember your goals and priorities. Are you a power lifter? Yes. All right, cool. What well, you should be concentrating on? Heavy compound movements. Right? Are you a bodybuilder? Good. What well, you should be worrying about? Building muscle. Do you need heavy ass weights on deadlifts to build muscle? Not necessarily, you just need your reps, right? 6 to 12 reps, 3 to 5 sets in order to build your muscle per muscle group, per muscle group. Don't get that shit twisted, alright? So with that being said, you know, and not, I don't know many people who can deadlift 405 pounds for 6, for six to 12 reps, 3 to 5 sets, alright? So that, I don't know. But I do know a lot of people would deadlift, you know, 225 for 6 to 12 reps, 3 to 5 sets, and that's sufficient. Alright? You don't need to be all gung-ho all the time in everything you do. Make sure your priorities are straight. You take care of your body. You take care of your physiology. Okay? Don't mess up your, your structural integrity. Right? Make sure you're standing tall. You're not limping over. I see a lot of bad beginners or novice bodybuilders. They 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 looking like this, man. They look like they came in. You know, the backs, you know, I mean they're leaning forward too much, or they're leaning back too much like this. It's supposed to be a neutral state, you know what I'm saying? Neutral state. You stand straight, stand tall, you know what I'm saying? When you look to the side, hey, it's not pronated. You know, extended or flexated, you know. It doesn't look like this, it look like this. Make sure that you have good structural integrity when it comes to working out as well. You know, when it comes to bodybuilding, it's not just about how big your muscles are. It's about how, literally how proportionate you are, alright. If your arms are too big, it's going to overwhelm the chest and back. You're going to lose. People don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, girls love big arms, but when it comes to a competition, you're not going to make it. All right? And with strength training, you know what I'm saying? It it does work, the, um, the structural integrity, but at the same time, you have a lot of room for a lot of mistakes where you can get injured and it could ruin the long-term effect of your body if you're not prepared yourself, such as knee wraps, um, belts, weight, uh, weightlifting belts, you know, certain things to help you lift and to assist you from from this uh, from getting yourself hurt in the future. So, yeah, man, belts are very required in heavy lifts. All right, but every man makes their own decision. I can't guide you all the time. I can't hold your hand all the time. My food is done. We got this going on, 245 deadlift, 
I kept my back workout kind of short because um, I, cause I wanted to go a little bit heavier. Whenever I go a little bit heavier, I can't do a lot of high sets or high reps. So I try to keep it at, um, at a certain amount of sets per, uh, per exercise and um, concentrate on my energy towards my deadlift so that way I can be the best when it comes to my deadlift. All right. So with that being said, you know, it's your boy Jason Yomoto. I'm about to go watch this Juggernaut Fitness TV right here. I heard he got a new video about some Mike O'Hearn. I like Mike O'Hearn, man. You know, matter of fact, let's go watch that real quick, all right? I'm going to get this in plate. You know, my friend Louis Marco sent me a link to this, and actually several other people sent me a link to this a couple days ago, but I was busy with my birthday and then the Monday Q&As, and I had to think about... Hey, happy birthday, man. ...how I was going to reply Jason to this. This was a statement made by Mike O'Hearn, and we all know Mike O'Hearn is the supplement industry's golden boy when it comes to natural bodybuilding, so that they can sell their product. Guy has an impressive physique, he's strong as hell, and I think we can all universally agree that he's on some pretty good creatine and whey protons. Hell yeah, man. But Mike O'Hearn has a badass made. body, dude. And I'll read it out loud for you. Steroids is now just a word the lazy and ignorant use to describe any guy or girl that has more muscle or strength and dedication than them. Michael Hearn, he just taught me shit now. You know what, Mike? Fuck you. Damn! You hear that shit? Jason Blaha just said, fuck I tell you, you what, Mike, the word natural is now just a word used by supplement companies and book writers and program sellers to convince the ignorant to buy shit that they don't need that isn't going to help them gain one fucking ounce of muscle over the next five years. Natural bodybuilding would not even fucking exist without these supplement companies sponsoring it because they know that they can turn a profit off of it. That's true. And all of you guys who get supplement sponsorships and use your natural status as a natural competitor as any sort of evidence to the validity that these products that you're sponsored by work, fuck you guys too. <laughs> but let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Wow. Wow. That's Jason Baja right there, man. Well, man, that's honest. I can honestly say that's the first time I saw that video. Um, there's a lot of truth behind that. There is a lot of truth behind what he just said. You know, we can honestly say that Mike O'Hearn, I don't, don't get me wrong, I really like the dude's physique. He has a good character. But man, we can honestly say that he is twice the size of fucking Arnold back in Arnold's prime. More cut. He looking twice the fucking the the bodybuilder that Arnold will ever be year round. Believe that year round he looks like this year round. And when I first saw my Mike O'Hearn, you know what I'm saying? I can honestly say, yeah, the dude's on steroids, man. I didn't he didn't have to say it, but yeah, man, he's on steroids. I mean, of course, people always say, well, you know. Do you even know the guy? Do you, have you seen him take steroids? Blah, blah, blah. No, I haven't. But Mike O'Hearn, for the height he is, for the build he is, for as strong as he is, for more... He, this dude is more cut and much bigger than what Arnold used to be. And Arnold was on steroids. He even said so when he back in the days when steroids were legal. You know what I'm saying? You know, do I hate Mike O'Hearn for the shit he said? You know what I'm saying? Am I gonna fucking jump on the bandwagon with Jason Blaha for the, you know, for for the feelings he has against Michael Hearn for the little statement he made? No, not even, you know, I, I understand where these, 
you know, supplement heads coming from and, you know, what kind of shit they have to do in order to make a buck, right? At the end of the day, you should always make research, you know, always do a research about the stuff that you're about to intake in your mouth. Steroids do work. Is it dangerous for you? Depends on who sells it to you. Some of it may not even be steroids. Some of it could just be water. I'm serious, man. So know your dealer, know where you're getting your shit from, know what kind of supplements are actually worth it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, there's a lot of truth behind what Jason Blaha said, but at the same time, you know, you as an individual have to understand that by the bodybuilding industry, if you're just in love with the training and the food, hey man, you're in the right motherfucking channel. But if you're about supplements and Whey protein and creatine and all these other vitamins and pre-workouts and, and fucking Tran and T3 and Clan and Test Prop. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm not the channel, right? There's other channels that talk about that shit. But in my opinion, you know, Michael Hearn is Michael Hearn. He already, he his name's already out there. There's no way of defaming him now. Right, you got to actually watch a video clip of him sticking himself with a needle in order to fade himself. But he ain't gonna make that happen. So with that being said, it is what it is, man. It's your boy Jason Yamamoto. I'm gonna finish up my rice and beef and broccoli. Uh, there's bell peppers in there, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. Nice. Breathe. Breathe.